Hi, Ms. Eglin here with Middle School Language Arts 7. Today we're going to be going over a video for after 20 years for the vocabulary. So we're going to look up at the screen and review this. Please check your work as we check it together. Okay, so the handout is vocabulary, focus, or context clues. Uh, the short story is After 20 Years by O. Henry. Um, vocabulary guide, determine meaning with context clues. Read each excerpt from the story below, paying careful attention to the bold-faced word. Then choose the best synonym, the word that's the same, for the bold-faced word from the choices presented. One, trying doors as he went, twirling his club with many intricate, that is a vocabulary word, and artful movements, turning now, and then to cast his watchful eye adown the Pacific thoroughfare, the officer with his stalwart form and slight swagger made a fine picture of a guardian of the peace. So you are supposed to find the word that means stalwart, okay? So this is what you're looking for. So you're gonna use this as a context clue. So I know that unreliable is the opposite. I'm gonna cross that out. Even does not make sense. So I'm kind of going between strong and faithful. And really stalwart means loyal, reliable, hardworking. So I'm going to pick faithful for my answer. So number one is B, faithful. Two. Well, we agreed that night we would meet here again exactly 20 years from that date and time, no matter what our conditions might be or from what distance we might have to come. Okay, so conditions here, I believe, does not mean connections, does not mean weather conditions. Um, I'm kind of torn between backgrounds or circumstances. And just going by what the meaning of the sentence, I'm going to go with circumstances. Because background isn't something you can really control. It's kind of in the past, but circumstances would fit better. So I'm going to pick two for you. Three. But after a year or two, we lost track of each other. You see, the West is a pretty big proposition. I keep kept hustling around it, around, over it pretty lively. So for this one... A proposition is really a proposal, a scheme, a plan, or a project. So the word that goes best with that is probably venture, not statement. I'm just going to double check, going to use the process of elimination. Not really a business here, and not a submission. So I'm going to go with B, venture. Okay, kind of like a venture. Okay. Four, but I know Jimmy will meet uh, me here if he's alive, for he always was the truest, staunchest old chap in the world. He'll never forget. Okay, so I'm looking for the meaning of staunchest in this sentence. Um, I know it's not tired, it's not grumpy, it's not stingy, it is dependable. So using the process of elimination, it would be dependable. Five, I've had to compete with some of the sharpest wits going to get my pile. So I'm thinking pile of money. A man gets an agreement in New York, it takes the West to put a razor edge on him. So I'm looking for the meaning of pile. Uh, I'm not going to say it's not pyramid, it's not shove. Now I've torn between keep and riches. So. I'm going to go with D because the meaning is riches. Um, a pile could be any kind of pile, but I think the meaning of the sentence, it means uh, money and riches and valuables. So I am going to go with D, I feel like is my best choice. Six, and in the door of the hardware store, the man who had come a thousand miles to fill an appointment, uncertain, honest to absurdity, with a friend of his youth, smoked his cigar and waited. So I'm looking for the word absurdity. Um, really right off the bat, I know that means ridiculousness. Seven, it's Bob, sure as fate. I was certain 
I'd find you here if you were still in existence. Well, if you were still alive is what in existence means, so I'm gonna pick B. So to review, one is B, two is C, three is B, four is B, five is B, six is B, seven is B. And then on the back, eight. Doing well in New York, Jimmy? Moderately, I have a position in one of the city departments. So here, moderately means, I would say fairly, okay, using my context clues, I'm doing fairly well. Nine, the man from the West, egotism and large <coughs> success, what's beginning to outline the history of his career? The other, submerged in his overcoat, listened with interest. Here, submerged means wrapped. Um, he's not underwater, he's not overwhelmed, he's not captured, he's wrapped in his coat. He's kind of sucked it down because it's so cold. 10, you've been under arrest for 10 minutes, Silky Bob. Chicago thinks you may have dropped over our way and wires us. She wants to have a chat with you. Okay, this one I thought was hard because when you wire somebody, you're cabling them a message. So I feel like the meaning, it's not handcuffs, it's not connections, it's either messages or cables. So the meaning is really message. I'm going to go with message um, for number 10. Okay, and the last one, you're supposed to read the story, pay attention to the bold-faced word, then choose a sentence in which the bold-faced word has the same meaning as used the same way as the original sentence. So for this one, um, there's three meanings of the word straight. Um, I had picked the middle one. I want the truth. Dad sternly declared, tell me everything that happened straight and from the beginning. Um, and it, to me, that was the same meaning, to make sure it's all good, really. Like, tell me the story. You know, it doesn't mean length. It doesn't mean to clean. So I had picked B for 11 and then 12. Um, you're, again, supposed to pick the one sentence from the wrong answer. Um, so I picked the one for C, which is like the direction straight, and I did the dancers. Spine was as straight as an arrow as she learned. She had learned the importance of good posture, so I used straight as like in the direction straight. Okay, that is it for the vocabulary, and again, I just wanted to go through the thinking process. Um, some of the answers are very close, so I'm gonna use the process of elimination to help me choose. Thanks for watching. Don't be afraid to hit the bell and give me a thumbs up.